Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this lesson, we're going to talk about partial templates in Hugo. Partial templates are a special type of template which are used to encompass various elements of our website. And so partial templates help you make your website more modular. I can write out a partial template for let's say a header of my website or a footer of my website or maybe like a navigation list. And I can write that navigation list or that header or footer in its own file with its own separate HTML and then take that HTML and inject it into uh, some of my different templates. And so the easiest way for me to explain partial templates is just to show you a demonstration. So inside of this layouts folder, I want to make a new folder and I'm just gonna call it partials, okay? Just like that. And then inside of this partials folder, I can create my partial files. Now, in my case, let's just say we want to create a header partial, right? So this is going to be a, um, a header for our website. And so I can just say new file and we'll just call this header.html. Now all partial templates should be HTML files. And inside of here, we are going to basically just make our header. I want to create a header one. And inside of this header one, I want to access the title of the current page. Right, that makes sense. And then inside of a paragraph, I just wanna access the date, okay? And that should be good enough for our header. So you, know, you can make your header as awesome as you want, it doesn't really matter. So in order to use this header, we need to insert it into our template. So I have these two templates here, this uh, list template and this single template, and these are just basic templates. And let's say that inside of these templates, I want to add in my header partial. The way that I do that is by typing out open and close curly brackets and then partial. And then in quotation marks, you want to type out the name of the partial. And so in my case, it's just header. And the final thing you want to do is pass in the scope of the current file. And the way we do that is by passing in this dot. Over here, you can pass in a variable into the header. In my case, I'm passing in this dot, and this dot represents the scope of all the variables that I have access to. So if you recall, if I want to access the title of a page, I type dot title. If I want to access the URL, I type URL, right? If I want to access all the pages in the site, I can type dot site dot pages, right? But what you notice about all of these variables is that they, is that they all start with this dot, and this dot represents the entire collection, the entire scope of variables that I have um, access to. And so when I create a partial, I can pass this partial a variable and the partial will only have access to the variables that get passed into here, right? And so if I want this partial to be able to access the title and the date like I have here, I need to pass in this dot, okay? And so just whenever you create a partial, a good rule of thumb is to just pass in the dot and that way you can access all the same variables that you can inside of your template. So let's take a look at this. So I'm just gonna head over to my web browser and you'll notice that we're at a single page right here. So it's using this single template and you can see that the header is clearly here, right? Inside this uh, template, I have um, uh, another header one with another horizontal rule, but then we also have this header partial. And so you can see the header partial clearly is here. We have the title, the date, and we have that horizontal rule. Now, if I switched pages, let's go to a different page. You'll see that when I'm on page B here, it pulls in the different title. So this partial is able to access the specific page variables, even though it's not inside of this default folder, it's inside this partials folder. That's the basics of how partials work. You can get a little bit fancier with partials um, and you can pass in custom information using a uh, dictionaries. So let's say inside of this header one, instead of having the title, I'm going to have a variable called um, dot my title, right? And I'm going to have another variable in here called dot my date. Okay. And so these aren't the variables that you would think they would be, right? So let's go over to this um, single template. And in here, instead of just passing in this dot, I'm going to pass in instead a dictionary. And the way we can create a dictionary is by just typing out dict inside parentheses. And we want to type out the key. And so in my case, it's going to be my title and then the value. So it's going to be, we'll just say like my custom title, right? And we also want one for date. So 
it's going to be my date and then my custom date, whatever. So we'll just, you can put anything in there. And so now what you're going to see is when we pull up the page, instead of having B and having the date, we have my custom title and my custom date. And so instead of just passing in that dot, we passed in a custom dictionary. And so, you know, you, there'll be certain circumstances where you might want to just pass in a dictionary. It could make your life a lot easier. Um, but as a default, you know, it's always just good to pass in this dot. And that way you have the same scope inside the partial as you do inside um, your templates. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.